one with the p-value again, um, just to re-emphasize. If the p-value is 0.1836, that means 18.36% of our sample means, if we took all of the possible sample means of size 100, 18.36% of them would have a value that lies in that interval. Okay? We would never reject the null hypothesis on that. We would only reject the null hypothesis if that number was down at 5%. Because if that number is at 5%, what we would be saying was only 5% of our sample means should be in that area. Therefore, something must have changed if we managed to put our hand in and take out one sample mean and that sample mean happened to be in that 5% area. There's only a 5% chance that we would select it. So that's a bit odd, so we should change our hypothesis. Whereas in this case, there's an 18.36% chance that if you put your hand in and pick out a sample, that you will get uh, 208 as being the mean. So 18.36 is reasonable enough, so we do not reject the null hypothesis on that one. Okay.